Hey there, welcome to TeacherCast University. My name is Jeff Bradbury from TeacherCast.net. In today's video tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an account on FeedBurner to get your podcast onto iTunes. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go over to FeedBurner.com. And so the first thing that FeedBurner is going to ask you to do, because it is owned by Google, is to create your Google account, or you can simply put in your Gmail account that you already have. Here we are in our feed burner, and you, as you can see, we don't have any current feeds yet. So what we want to do is we want to go find our feed. In another video, we talked about how to grab a feed from Lipson or also from your WordPress site. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab that feed, and we're going to put it right here in this box. We have our feed here. I'm going to check off I am a podcaster and hit next. You can see here that FeedBurner has already grabbed the feed title and a feed address. And I'm going to shorten this address to make it a little bit easier for us here. And the next thing I want to do is click on Next. And so here we can configure exactly how iTunes will be looking at our podcast. The first thing that we want to do is we want to pick up a category. And for this podcast I'm setting up, I'm going to choose health. And we have a subcategory that we can certainly choose. I'm going to do no subcategory. The next thing that we want to insert here is our podcast image location. Now you can't exactly put your album art into FeedBurner, you need to tell it where exactly it's lying on the internet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over to my WordPress site. And under my media and library, I've placed this image here. And when you look at it, you'll see here that it is a 646 kilobyte image and the dimensions are 2048 by 2048. Now your podcast image art can be as small as 1400 by 1400. And recently iTunes has put out that it can be as large as 3000 by 3000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to URL and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come back over here into FeedBurner and I'm going to paste that in there. Next thing I want to do is have a subtitle, and so I'm just going to subtitle this Speaking of Neck, because that is our subtitle of our podcast. I'm going to here type in my podcast summary. So the next thing that I want to do in here is put in some keywords. So I'm going to put in Neck. I'm going to put in NICU, and I'm going to put in Premature. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to put in my podcast author email address. I always suggest this one be feedback at your website. Now, the next thing here we really need to talk about contains explicit content. There's three drop downs here. No, yes, and yes, cleaned. So no is really designed for a show that has no foul language. Yes is designed for shows that have foul language. And yes, cleaned actually means it's a show that had foul language, but you went back, you did the edits, and this is a cleaned version. So perhaps you have episode two clean, and perhaps you have episode two uncleaned. So right now I'm gonna try choose no. Copyright message, I'm going to always do 2015. Morgan's Fund LLC, because that's who I'm setting this up for. And podcast author, I'm going to type in my name. And I'm going to hit next. The next screen here is asking, get more gusto from your feed traffic statistics. So, of course, we want to add a little bit of statistics in here. We're going to check off that we want click views. We're going to check off that we want to have click throughs, which is how often people click back onto your site. We're going to check off for item enclosure downloads. And also we want to have iTunes track other individual stats here. We're going to hit next. Now we're come to a screen where it says we have successfully updated our feed and we are good to go. Okay, we're back here after a little bit of time. You can see that our feed is still a little bit new. It does take about 24 hours or so for FeedBurner to gather the feed and get this going. So, you know, one of the downsides is you really can't set 
all of this stuff up right away. You really do need to take a day or so to let every feed populate from other feeds. But let me just explain a little bit about the dashboard here. We have a few buttons up here. This one here is our RSS feed button. This is what we would actually use for subscribing. Over here, we have our edit button. So I'm going to click edit feed details. You can see that our feed title, this was taken directly from our feed source, or in this case, Lipson. Here's our original feed that we have. Here's our feed address. Now, right now, we can change this to anything that we want, but once we get this into iTunes, you do not want to change this or else iTunes will be broken. I'm going to make sure that I click on Save Feed Detail. If I wanted to delete the feed, I can simply do this. We're going to delete the feed here, but I don't want to do that right now. And if we wanted to transfer our feed to another service, we can certainly do so with this button here. I'm going to click over here on Analyze. As you can see, again, this is still setting up our feed. We're not quite ready. Eventually, we'll be able to see our subscribers we'll be able to see a map of where our feeds are and we'll also be able to configure our stats over here the optimize tab is really one of the important tabs that we're looking for here now there's a lot of different things here and there's good reasons of, of clicking on some of these and there's good reasons of not clicking on some of these if you want feed burner to control everything about your feed you're going to want to make sure that right here, Smart Feed is activated. And you're going to also want to make sure that Smart Cast is turned on. Now, let me say here, if you want WordPress to control your feed, we've done other shows on using the PowerPress Blueberry plugin. You do not want to have Smart Cast taken care of because all of this stuff is redundant. In fact, if you take time on WordPress to set up your categories, your podcast, your feed, your everything through Blueberry the way we showed you in our previous video, then SmartCast is simply going to come in here and overrun those, in, those, those details, and everything you've done for WordPress is not going to work. So I really don't recommend having SmartCast on unless you're only going to be having FeedBurner use your statistics. The next thing here we're going to look at is FeedFlare, and I don't generally type in a lot of these things. I just kind of leave it as it is. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is FeedBurner Image. And this is really if you're looking to place this feed burner image on your feed. I don't really do that much. Title description burner. If you wanted to have a new title that's different than the feed that's coming in from Lipson, you can certainly use that. You can put a new title here and a new description. I'm not going to do that because, again, I set everything up in Lipson. If I'm looking at my feed here, this shows you that my feed works. The Morgan Leary Von, Von found. This shows you that my feed works. It has the title here. Here's episode one, and here's all of the notes from episode one. How did it pull this in? This is exactly what I typed in to Lipson, and I just did a big copy and paste from my WordPress site into Lipson. Here's episode one, and that's all we have at this moment here. XML source, you can see this is the XML code for all of it. If you can't read that, it's completely okay. We're going to now cl click over... We are going to now click over here on the Publicize tab. We have a couple different things here to keep in mind. I want to check off email subscriptions, and I'm going to just simply hit Activate, and that's going to allow people to subscribe to your podcast through RSS through their email address. That's really, really important. If you want to have communication preferences, you can change what the email address is. This one here, again, you might want to make this say Feedback at, at uh, youraddress.com. You can certainly set that up. Email branding, again, it automatically pulls in the title. If you want to change your logo, everything here is going to be sent to people's addresses as they sign up. So right now you have the Morgan Leary Von Fund podcast. And if I put in a email brand, if I put in a new logo right here, and you can see that it wants something that's no more than 200 by 200 pixels. That will show up right here on the email. And it's very, very important that you uh, take a look at that there. Delivery options we're going to look at. When do we want this email to come out? Everybody here will give you a different answer. I usually recommend having it come somewhere either in breakfast time, meaning between that 7 to 9 area, or I have the emails go out right around that lunchtime area, so for between 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock Eastern time. When you know that people are sitting there checking their email box, they'll get dinged from you. You can, of course, change your delivery time right here.
those are really the ones that we're looking at. You can take a look at all these different headline animators. I don't really put too much stock into this. Buzz Boost, I really don't put too much stock in here. I'm sure other people can uh, help you out with that, but I, I, I just don't use that. Socialize, if you want to add a Twitter account, that means every time that people, every time that your podcast goes out, it automatically pings and sends out a tweet. I just don't do this. I let people go to my website or go to iTunes. I don't wor have them come back to this feed here. So I don't check that stuff off. Creative Commons, if you want to add this to your show, you certainly can. I'm just going to hit activate here because everything here is, is cool. If I wanted to password protect this, I certainly can as well. If I wanted to make these links no index, I can certainly do this too. So that is feed burner in a nutshell if you have any questions please reach out to us you can of course find us online at teachercast you can subscribe to the twitter address for this show at podcasting today of course you can email us at feedback at teachercast.net leave us a voicemail at teachercast.net slash voicemail and please if you're interested check us out over at teachercast.net slash iTunes and teachercast.net slash YouTube for all of our audio and videos. Subscribe to our channel and while you're there, leave us a nice review. If you like this show, please leave us some comments in our YouTube video below. Thank you so much from TeacherCast University. My name is Jeff Bradbury.